Hi everyone, my name is Hansini Seth and I am here to give a tutorial on Officer Candidate Management System version 2nd. In the first version, we have created a simple application to register login and to mark the attendance as well as to view the attendance. For the second version, we have added extra features to improve the functionality. The same software stack has been used as a Windows for operating system, PHP My Admin as backend part, PHP, HP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap for fronted, and XAMPP as server. So for the database, we have created a user login system here and uh, it has several tables like attendance events, student login, student event. All the entries will come into this, uh, these respective tables and they will be fetched according to the operation. So I'll start by giving a simple demonstration here. So whoever is a new user, he has to first register here with all these attributes. So I'll start with a random entry as j at yahoo.com is number. You can select your school, your rank, year, your role, and your password. Okay, so when you click register, you will be directed to your home page. But suppose if you do not give your academic year, it will ask you to fill out this field. So without entering these uh, entries, you cannot enter into the system. So you have to give all the entries here and then only you can register. So you can see that since you selected uh, your role as supervisor, a supervisor homepage has been popped up and uh, the first feature here is profile. So here, all the entries from the database has been fetched, the name, email, phone number, etc. All these things are fetched from the database and the extra feature which we have added from the first version is to browse an image and upload it so if you select here an image and upload you can see the image has been uploaded this feature was not present in the first version it has been introduced for the second version and uh, the next is view attendance so this is the continued feature from the first version but we have added one extra part here which is the ip address so you can see all the students will give their attendance by signing their name date time and ip address which will be fetched uh, indirectly so they don't have to just give their ip address it will be it will be fetched directly so here you can see yeah so all these entries are from the same internet network that's why the ip is same here you can see so this is one extra feature which we have added and then the next feature is to create event so the supervisor wants all the candidates in the academy to register for new events so that they can track their progress on these activities also so so you can give a description here like any random name or description or title and the location is miami and the time is 7 pm like this and you go for summit so this entry has been created. If you want to check, you can see here. Yeah, so this table is for events and this table is for the student. So, uh, yeah, this is the one which we have just entered the racing of cars and the title is racing so the entry has been given to the database and now you can see here 
the students who have enrolled for the particular event. So this feature I'm going to demonstrate later. Let's go to student login. So the same process goes for the student. He has to first register and then he has to log in with the super uh, for the username and the password. So since I am already a registered student, I can see here my account by username and password. Perfect. And if you want to check your password, suppose I give my name and my password it is stating me that wrong username or password so since i gave wrong password it is giving me this field so now i am login and here as a student i have the same feature as profile you can see i have already uploaded an image and then give attendance so this is the attendance sheet where I have to sign and uh, give my attendance. So by default, the date, time and the IP address will be given to the supervisor. So I can give my name as Hansni Seat1919 and mark attendance. So this entry has been given to the supervisor and he can view there. Now for the current event, you can see this is the list of all the event which the supervisor has created. So they have the title, description, location and time. So this is the latest event which the supervisor has created as I have already shown in the demonstration and if I click on join then this indicates that I have joined the event and a notification has sent to the supervisor so that's the feature for the student and then if I have to check whether I have uh, whether the student has registered for the event or not I'll go to the supervisor login and give my credential. And login. So I'm directed to my home page and here I can see the attendance. So the attendance which I have given now is Hansini 1919 which is this one. So in the last version only sign, date, time was recorded but in this version we have added ip with the use of ip the supervisor can check whether the student is present in the same internet network or not if the network is different then the ip will be different by which the supervisor can detect that that entry is fake so that's the list of students and that's the use of ip and for the students enrolled now he can see yeah, you can see here the supervisor has created this event called racing with description racing of cars and the joint student is Hansini. So in this way the student can see the list of all uh, the events and the supervisor can see the list of students enrolled for the event. So that's all about the features which we have added in the second version of the project and um, we will be deploying the application on Amazon Web Services where actually the user can access and can have the features of the application. So thank you for watching the video.